Welcome to the special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. Nursing homes and seniors would receive top prioritization for a coronavirus vaccine once it's released, according to President Trump. Officials would focus on providing a possible vaccine to those most at risk for suffering serious complications from the virus, Trump indicated during an interview with Fox Business last week. Quote, you know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized, so at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly, Trump said. We will have a tremendous force because assuming we get it, then you have to distribute it, he added. And unless you're mobilized and ready, you're not going to be able to do it for a long time, so we're starting now. He also noted that the military would be mobilized rapidly to distribute a vaccine and he expects a vaccine to be available by the end of the year, which arguably is optimistic. Even though several vaccines are being tested, researchers have said one for widespread use likely won't be available for 12 to 18 months. In a bright piece of coronavirus-related news, Seattle Seahawks superstar quarterback Russell Wilson sent words of encouragement to HCR Manor Care. Quote, I just want to encourage you all to stay positive during this moment, stay neutral, keep believing, keep your language right, and just keep lifting each other up. Thank you for all that you do, the Super Bowl winning quarterback said in a video message. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.